Okay, everybody, I'm back. I'm so sorry about that. I think that someone tried to call or message me, and um, it messed up my, my feed. So we're going to try this again. Darn it. I hate when stuff like that happens, don't you? I hope I didn't lose all of you. Um, and we're having focus issues here, too. I'm not sure why that is happening. Um, okay. Here we go. So let's try this again. I'm so sorry. And it's very pixelated, isn't it? Hmm. So. Sorry. And it's there we go. So, I apologize. I hope you're still there. We're going to keep on going. So, here we go. I started out with a granny apple green cardstock, nine and three quarters by five and a half. And I scored it at two and a half and six and three fourths. Okay. And then I fold, folded up the two and a half inch panel. And I put glue on either end and just glued the very edge down because we're going to put. We're going to put a panel inside here. Oh, thank you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, good. I'm glad it's okay for y'all. Okay, then I have some designer series paper. Um, I have two pieces. This rainbow piece that has blues and greens and a little bit of so saffron in there. And I'm going to need your help on part of this card here in just a second. And this one is cut two and three-fourths by five and a quarter. And then the flip side of that paper is this granny apple green, and I cut it at two and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue to this. All right, and I'm going to put this granny apple green piece here at the bottom because remember, this is about being lucky in love. So, why I feel lucky in love is that when I graduated from Texas A&M University, um, I, was, I was dating a guy, and it was a very toxic relationship. Like, it was a guy that my parents hated, my friends hated. He had some kind of crazy hold over me. He wasn't even great look, necessarily great looking, right? I just... Um, and we dated for like a year and four months, and he was cheating on me, and it was terrible. And um, he moved to Houston after college, and I moved to Dallas. Um, well, my roommate from college had come to visit me, and I hadn't really found a church to go to. Honestly, I wasn't really super excited about going to church. And my roommate said... Um, Judy, we need to find, a, we need to find us a church. She lived in Dallas too, but just not, um, with me. We weren't roommates anymore. And let me grab my mini embossed cut machine here. Okay. So I, um, had no idea what church to go to. And my Roommate said, my college roommate said, I've heard there's this church called Highland Oaks, and um, they have a really big singles ministry. Well, I don't know if I really considered myself single, but I definitely didn't consider myself um, attached. Even though I had dated this guy for a while, I just, you know, never, there was no permanent understanding at all, which was kind of crazy in itself. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to pull this out before I talk my way through this. I have a white, basic white layer that's three and a half by four and three quarters. And I have an inside layer, and I chose So Saffron. You could have chosen any colors that are in your DSP. And it's three and three fourths by five. Okay, three and three fourths by five. But I thought it would be kind of fun before... I um, put that on the inside of my card. There is this die in the rainbow dies here that are these rainbows. And I thought it would be cool if I ran it through um, and just put those rainbows at the bottom edge of that white. 
So that's what I'm gonna do here with my mini and it's gonna fit perfectly. My mini cut and emboss machine here. And you know, I'm gonna use a piece of post-it note here. Um, I usually use post-it note tape, but I don't know, I'm not seeing it handy here, okay? So I'm gonna take this and put my piece of basic white there. I'm gonna put, oh, I want my rainbows to go this way. And I'm gonna use a piece of post-it note tape just to hold it in place where I want it. So it's kind of even along that bottom edge right there. And I'm gonna press that down so it will hold in place. And I'm gonna put it on my mini cut and emboss machine. So anyway, she convinced me to try this church out because they supposedly had a really great singles ministry. And I was like, okay, we'll try it. So that Sunday, I went to church with her and the preacher that morning said, so I'm going to just take this, and I just want that green glimmer paper. This is green rainbow glimmer paper. I just want it to kind of show through there my, um, my rainbow. So it gives that kind of leprechaun green look that I'm going for. So I'm going to take tear and tape along this bottom edge right here. So we went to church and the preacher said, I want everyone to stand up and greet the people in front of them and behind them. Well, I turned around and this really great looking guy was standing right behind me. And the crazy thing is, is that he was with a guy that I knew. I had met him on a ski trip um, a couple of years earlier, which was kind of crazy. So, um, I introduced myself to Jim Tuttle. Okay, and now I'm just, look, I'm just going to set this right back on top right there. And see how it just looks like the rainbows have that little green glimmer coming through it? Isn't that cute? Okay, so, I just made this up, you guys. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I've never seen anybody do this, but I thought we would give it a shot. Um, so he was standing right behind me. So we introduced ourselves to each other. And his roommate, his, the guy he was with that I knew, his name was Kenny, and he happened to be his roommate. Um, so anyway, if Jim Tuttle hadn't been sitting behind me that Sunday at church... We may not be married today. So how lucky is that, that I got the greatest guy in the whole world to be my husband. It took him a while, I'm not gonna lie. It took him a while to ask me out. Um, but it was probably good, cause you know, I was dealing with some baggage. And, okay, I'm just cutting that edge off a little bit just to give it a little bit more um, of a straight line right there. That rainbow was, like, overlapping a little bit. Okay, so that day after church, a whole group of the singles from the church all decided to go out to eat together. How cute is that? Don't you guys love that? Now, before I glue that on, I am using a stamp set called Happy and Heartfelt. This is in the mini catalog, and I love this, you guys. I love all these sentiments. Um, I love a great sentiment set, but what I really love about this one is the font. How pretty are those fonts, right? So lovely. And they have two stamps in this set that I'm gonna use tonight. One of them says, Lucky Me, and the other one says, Being Awesome is Just Your Thing. Isn't that great? 
Okay, so I've decided I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to stamp it right in the middle and hope I don't mess it up since I've already got everything glued together, right? So here we go. Ah, how lucky am I that that just came out perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this to the inside. Isn't that cute? I love this. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Um, so anyway, a whole group of us went out to lunch and I was so upset because my roommate from college who went to church with me got on the end of the table with Jim and I was on the other end of the table with these guys and other people uh, I didn't really care much about, to be honest. Um, and so I was like, oh man, maybe I lost my chance. Okay, so look how cute this is. This is going to be... This is going to fit right inside this little pocket right here. How cute is that? All right. So I'm going to fold this over. So anyway, long story short, it took him a really long time to ask me out. About six months to be exact. And um, I thought, I thought, you know, he, I thought he liked me and I kept going to church there and I kept waiting for him to ask me out. Okay, so I'm going to wrap. I'm using the pool party ribbon here because there's some pool party in there. And honestly, it was the best ribbon for this card, I think. And so I'm just going to wrap it around. Are you guys, is my, is my long story annoying you? <laughs> anyway, he finally asked me out on the date. And um, it, it's a hilarious story, but I was very disappointed in our first date. And I was sad because I had waited for so long for Jim Tuttle to ask me out. And I had been talking about him to my then post-college roommate. And um, I don't know. I think I, was too, I had too high expectations for the first date, to be honest. Okay, so... I'm going to just tie that right like that, and um, have a little bow right there that will just hold that flap down and everything all together. Um, but he asked me out again at the end of the night, and I remember telling my roommate, oh, that was so disappointing. I just was expecting... A different feel and it didn't really feel right and I was kind of sad because I've been waiting so long for him to ask me out and he asked me out again okay so now this is what we need to decide you guys we're gonna put a panel on the front here and I need you to decide should we do the pool party or should we do the so saffron now I probably should tell you what we're going to put on that because that might make a difference in your decision. Okay, so we're going to put on, I have cut a rainbow using the rainbow dies out of the rainbow paper, but only the green part of it. Okay, so here's my rainbow. Now, do you like that better on the So Saffron or... Okay, so that's what it looks like on the So Saffron. Or, do you like it better on the pool party? Kim says, so, hi Kim, I didn't know you were here. Jenny says pool party, so we're 50-50 right now. We need a couple more votes. Do you think we should do So Saffron or the pool party? Now, while well, you guys are deciding that, I want you to know where my label came from. You can use any label here, and it doesn't even have to be rectangular. Um, but I used our contour label dies, color and contour dies. I love these dies. I love that it has a scalloped edge and a little stitching around the inside of it. Saffron, saffron, saffron. Okay, saffron seems to be... See, I, I know, ha, putting the rainbow on it kind of changes the look of it, doesn't it? Okay, so I've cut this rainbow out um, of this Glimmer Rainbow Paper. And I just, here, let me show you. Um, 
the panel. So I just, this glimmers and it goes from green to blue to pink to purple. So our rainbow paper kind of variegates like that. And I just cut it out from the green part right up here at the top. Okay, so, so far everybody, Jenny changed her mind. So it looks like we're going with the sa saffron. And I'm going to just add a little bit of liquid. Now, don't go crazy with the liquid glue here. You'll be sorry. Um, so I'm going to put the biggest one first. So long story short, we ended up going on a second date about five days later. And I don't know what the difference was, but I was head over heels. And I think that the guy from college and I had really only been broken up for a few months. Um, but, um, which, you know, he broke up with me and married his girlfriend, that other girlfriend that he was cheating on me with. Um, he got engaged two weeks after we broke up. So lucky me, right, that that happened. And... <laughs> Um, at the time it was pretty devastating, but God had a better plan for our lives. And we went on a second date and I called my mom on the phone after our second date. And I said, I found the guy I'm going to marry. Um, and she was like, Oh, Judy, you can't know that yet. Right. And I just knew, I knew in my heart. So our first date was on January the 7th. 1985. How cute is that? Do you guys like that glimmer, that green rainbow glimmer? And then I cut some clouds out of our glimmer paper that is in the mini catalog with the rainbows. Um, it comes in, they call this pool party. I don't know how pool party-esque it really looks, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scatter some of these, right, like here. That's kind of cute because it kind of looks like the sunshine is, um, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to pop these up. Um, and we got engaged five months after that and we got married December 7th, 1985. So we got engaged five months after that day, that second date, and... We got married 11 months to the day after our first, after our first date. So, lucky me that I happened to go to church that Sunday and Jim Tuttle just happened to sit right behind me and that preacher said, greet the people around you and... We were both kind of starstruck um, at the same time. Um, and that my horrible, toxic relationship ended. So it was all in God's plan, I am sure of it. Um, so anyway, I um, am so thankful. I'm going to do this one flat, and there's a reason for that. So this one's going to go right here, but just a little bit on the flat side there with straight up glue and then you guys I cut a whole bunch of hearts here and I cut some some mamba 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 <laughs> Aww, thank you Kay I do love my love story um, you know that we have a sign in our house that says everyone has a love story but mine is my favorite and it definitely is so I cut some, um, why am I having a brain fart about this mamba color? Uh, mamba. Melon, melon mamba. <laughs> it's melon mamba. All right, so, um, and then I thought it would be cute, right, to just have this little heart just sitting right there and maybe some other hearts like scattered around over here. What do you guys think? Is that cute? Um, so this one I'm going to pop up on this side over here because this side is already going to be kind of up, right? 
So I'm going to take some minis here and put it on this side of my heart. Melon, melon, melon. Thank you, guys. Um, so we got married December 7th, 1985. This is our 37th year. Um, and I'm definitely the lucky one. All right, so I'm going to just scatter some more hearts around here. And maybe a little one. Down here. And one more. I'm going to move that little one up to here. There's a reason for that. And then this medium size. And I cut these out of the Give It A Whirl dies. And I tell you what, I have used these hearts a ton. I love that they're stitched edge. The clouds came from the Give It A Whirl dies as well. I like the stitched edge on things. So there we go. So there's my little rainbow. And then... I've got this label right here, and I'm going to pop it up, and it's going to say, Lucky Me. Lucky Me Finding You. And he is watching tonight, so he, I told him I was going to tell our our love story and why I'm so lucky to have him and everybody knows I'm lucky to have him they all every time I complain about my husband they're like Judy please <laughs> and I know I'm very spoiled so I'm gonna take here we go an edge of that dimensional right there lucky me and I am going to put this right here on the front of my card. And I thought, I don't know, you guys tell me, I thought I might add a few of our new iridescent gems. Yay for the gems or nay. I think, you know, can you have too much sparkle? I'm not sure you can. Okay, so I want to put this right here. And isn't that cute? And I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back side here. So, if there are any young single girls out there, there are good guys in this world. Just hang on. You don't need to settle for the losers who don't treat you right. Wait for the good ones. They're there. All right. Now I'm going to do one more little edge here. Um, oh, hi, Mary. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Um, so... I, so I think we're okay with adding a little sparkle. Is that what we decided? Okay. I know it looks kind of random how I've put this on here, but that's because I want, I don't want to put, I don't, it wouldn't matter really. I don't really want to put dimensionals on my ribbon. Um, I always kind of um, make a little, there we go. And you just don't want, you want to make sure to avoid this bottom edge so that you can open it. Okay, let's add a little bling. Uh, let's see if I can find my, all right, I'm just going to add it with my fingers. Not my favorite way, but it'll work. Um, so what I love about these iridescent gems is, oh, I kind of like it on there. Put one on my label right there. One, two, three, four. Got to have one more somewhere. Let's put it over here. All right. Oh, I kind of like it. Do you guys like it? Um, 
I hope you enjoyed it tonight. This is my Lucky in Love card, Lucky Me, um, to find a Jim Tuttle. And it'll open like this. Right? And then it'll pop open. And then it pulls out. And it's being awesome is just your thing. Isn't that so cute? Now, this wouldn't have to be a lucky in love. It could be a lucky for friendship or um, lucky to have you in my life or um, kind of, this could say thank you, right? Um, so anyway, March is the month of luck. Um, my friends would just say it's being blessed. Whatever you think, either way, um, happy husband, happy life. Um, there we go. So, there we go. I hope you guys love that tonight. And, you know, since I had to do this twice, I'm going to lift the camera back up, um, and say a proper goodbye to all of you. So let me lift up. And of course, I need to flip everything back around, right? There we go. Thank you guys for watching me tonight. I'm so thankful and lucky that you came to watch me. And I'm lucky that so many of you found me on Facebook or through our Stampin' Up! family. So God bless everyone. If you would love me, like me, share me, I would really appreciate it. So I hope you loved my card. Lucky me finding you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.